All right, all right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow, and um, I, I want to show you something here. I want to show you something here, okay? The other day, I was in a, um, a Kroger, you know, a Kroger food store. Now, you have to understand, this particular Kroger food store is different than your common neighborhood food store because it's in the area where the money is, meaning where the rich folks are. So that, I mean, they have a section, a huge section of, of all different types of so-called allegedly organic foods. Now, right here, what I have is I have this, this thing right here. They, they call a tomato. And I did pay the price because I wanted to not only taste it, but I wanted to see what it says. But see what it says? It says organic tomatoes, U.S. DA organic, USDA organic. And I'm going to tell you right now that if this is an organic tomato, then you've been robbed. You've been robbed big time. And if I said it once, I said it a thousand times. That's the reason why I advocate homesteading because the tomatoes that we grow here taste one thousand percent better than this does not only is it one thousand percent better but our tomatoes that we grow here they look better um they're more juicier uh they're more red and i mean they're just better all the way around this this tomato tastes no different than the tomatoes that you would find in the other sections that says that it, it doesn't even carry a label organic and I, like i said before i think that somebody is in bed with the USDA to make a lot of profit and a lot of money off you people out there because they say it's organic. I don't believe it. I don't believe it one bit. Um, and I'm telling you right now, um, here on the community, here on the community, um, we are doing excellent. I mean, really, truly, we hardly, hardly ever get sick. I, the majority of our troubles around here, it, it comes because of the labor that we do. Um, you know, I mean, aches, uh, nerves, pinched nerves, you know, back aches and stuff like this, cramps and, you know, stuff like that. Um, every once in a while, we may deal with a little bit of, you know, uh, sickness here that may be airborne or something like that. But as a whole, as a community, and that's the reason why I advocate community, because not only are we watch it, watching the social ills uh, of the economic or the economy, as well as the religious, political uh and, and home front, but you, hey, Americans all the way across the board are not literally working. Do y'all realize that we have over, um, I mean, man, not, we got a lot of people. We got a lot of people. Um, Nine million people plus is just simply say, I'm not going to work, period. I'm not working. And the majority of these people are, are living off of the government, uh, and most people, and then you people out there, you get mad at people because, well, they're taking the taxpayer money and stuff like it. I told you, you can tell the health of a country by how they treat their poor, uh, but but we have become um, a lethargic, apathetic, complacent nation, and that's just all it is to it, period, point blank. That's just what we are, um, and we're in a decline, a social spiritual decline like never before. And it's going to be great. And, and the reason why it's going to be great because uh, let me try to explain something to you. The generation that came before me did not give a damn about you nor their children's children. They live for themselves. They were selfish as hell and were watching the fruit of their selfishness. And it's all about them. It's all about their life, their pleasure. It's all about them. They don't care now. Oh yeah, they had you glad to clothe you, feed you, and all this other stuff. But don't make no make no mistake about it. It's all about them because you know if anybody cares anything about the generation coming behind them, then they would do everything they can to give them wisdom going forward. I haven't seen too many old people today has got a lick of damn wisdom in them that I would follow none whatsoever at all. I, I I'm serious. It's a shame. So when I see that, what I do instead of complaining and belly aching about the generations come before me that wasn't worth two dead flies, 
Um, now, I'm not talking about the ones who actually reared the families, take, took, took care of the families, lived a long life, and they, they retired. You can tell that those people, they were busy. They were seriously busy about getting things done. Um, I'm talking about uh, the people who who want to have all this so-called information they want to give you, yet they can't even live it themselves. Uh, you don't need to subjugate yourself to stuff like that. I'm telling you right now. Um, but, you know, in contrast to that, really me belly aching and stuff, um, I do my due diligence because uh, I want the generation coming behind me to be better. And the only way they're going to be better is I've got to wake up out of this stupor. i got to literally wake up out of this dumbness that I'm in. Um, and G GMO foods, chemtrails fire flying all over the place, pesticides, herbicides, and everything else that's going on here in this world, they're literally not helping the mind today. You have to understand that this system today, it wants a mind-numb, drooling, entertained society so you can stay away from what the politicians are doing. And as a result, uh, this country... That, that most of us, the people in my age and older, knew that had a, a, a care. It, it's all but gone. It's all but gone. We're watching, you know, I, I mean, think about it. Think about it. The, the best thing that is going on today that gets people's attention is Kim Kardashian's ass. Can, can you believe it? <laughs> that makes news. And then the news media, they, they, they plop her ass up in front of you all day long. And they, and they, and they, through, they allure you through the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh while they care nothing about your eternal soul. You know, it's all about debauchery. It's all about houses of your repute. It's all about whatever. I, it, it's a sad situation. Look at people. Peer into their lives and see if you want to be associated with these people. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people are just bad off and when you live wrong, you think wrong. And if you don't eat right, you're going to think wrong. That's all. If you're going to act wrong, you're going to live wrong. And, and I'm telling you, I call it death by the spoon. And that's what's happening today. But I don't believe one bit that this is organic. Now, I know what it says. I know what it says. I can read it right there. Look what it says. Uh, it says, look at that. USDA. Organic. Tomatoes. And I'm telling you, they're lying. They're flat out lying to you. I'm glad. I am so glad that I read the instructions and I follow what it says. Most people, well, I don't believe like I don't care what you don't believe. That's your business. That's between you and the Father. I do what the instruction says, and my life is reflecting how much, not only myself, but how much others are benefiting off of it. You know, the Bible says a wise man, and we don't have too many of those people today. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe, if people can change their philosophy. Let me help you out a little bit, all right? Look at this. You would be counted a wise man and a wise woman, not by going out and continually keep making the same mistakes that others have made. You know, we refuse information that is given to us simply because we don't believe it. We have never tested it. We have never proved it. We've never tried it. Our minds automatically rejects anything that we think is going to. This is how we process it. Control us, manipulate us, rule us, and dominate us. And you are a fool. You are a prattin' fool. A truthful, a real true wise man, his wisdom is counted because he learns from the mistakes of others and he does not repeat them himself. That is what a real true wise man is. And you cannot get no more wiser than this right here. You simply cannot get no wiser than this right here. And I follow the instructions. A lot of people say they follow the instructions. Well, you're going to have to be the ones to determine what pastors, what preachers, and what teachers are really truly following this because there will be fruit 
And you need to determine what fruit it is because, hey, speaking of fruit, you follow me? This book taught me because I didn't get it from my generation. No, nobody. Matter of fact, there's nobody. As a matter of fact, there is nobody in my natural family, nobody in my natural family that agrees with this book right here except my father and my mother who listened to what I had to say and then they woke up out of their stupor and sleep. Nobody. I'm talking about natural. I, I cannot. Amazing. And I have a very religious family. And I mean, when I say religion, they do your Christmas. They do Sunday. They do Christmas. Uh, they do Easter. They do Halloween. They do Valentine's Day. Uh, uh, they, they St. Patrick's Day, 4th of July. And, and when you look at these people, you, they are, you, you'll you think that, man, these people are some kind, nice people, but they're devils. That's exactly what they are. They are kind devils. That's what they are. And you know what's amazing? On both sides, father's side and mother's side, they all hate me. If you could go to them and ask them why, they, they can't give you an answer. They'll probably say because he's a cult. Why? I'm telling you, <laughs> Jesus today, you people would burn him. You wouldn't stone him. You would burn him at the stake on the tree. That's what you would do today uh, because you don't know the Messiah of this book. You don't. You've been taught precepts of the father by the fear of man. <laughs> and you're way off base. But they all call me crackpot and they all call me coop. And it's amazing because every once in a while, every once in a while, I don't recognize them. They recognize me because I, I didn't choose it. Now, hey, check it out. There's not one family member naturally that I can pick up the phone and dial their phone number or get into a vehicle and drive to one of their houses because I don't know where they live. I don't know if, they, if the places where they were living, I don't know if they still live there or not. Don't care either because they don't care enough about serving the Father. I don't care too much about them. And I had to put distance. That's all it's too because these folks are hypocrites. I know one thing. I've been following this book. It teaches me how to eat. And this book teaches you to grow your own food. <laughs> it talks about planting. It talks about fruit. It talks about harvest. It talks about consider the ant. It talks about honey. It talks about, I mean, it talks about all kinds of stuff. And even in the New Testament, over in the book of Acts, it teaches you how you should try to live right now in the midst of this wicked and perverse generation. And look at how many of your preachers and teachers are trying to do it. You know why? Because they're repeating the same mistakes of the past. Got a radio broadcast coming up tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I'll include a link down below. Uh, I'm going to be interviewed. Um, looks like a very good and reputable radio station out there in the Midwest. You may want to tune in tomorrow and hear what I have to say. Um, if you don't care nothing about you, at least care about the generation coming behind you. At least leave something for them. At least give them an opportunity to reject knowledge if they true choose to, because just maybe somebody, just maybe one person will hear and wake up. But let me tell you something. Get out of the cities, learn how to grow your own food, start preparing yourselves. And if you are not getting out of the cities right now, start making preparations, start saving federal reserve notes. And, and um, you know, it is true that it is more blessed to give then receive, but most of you, you will never, ever, ever understand that. I'm going to tell you right now, I got to the place where I'm at today because I gave. And when I gave, I knew who I was giving it to, and I did not put it in a bag with holes. That is the truth. That's the truth straight away. And if you can understand this Proverbs, go and do it and to be well with you.